Hello, today I'm going to follow on from a video I've just watched on LinkedIn which I thought was utterly brilliant and sometimes it's a good idea to be inspired by what somebody else has said and to feel that you can go and add your own little point of view which is a bit like commenting of course. Um, so if you want to know what I'm going on about listen on Hello, I'm Alice Elliott, the founder of the Commenting Club.co.uk that shows you how the magic of commenting can increase the popularity of business, which ultimately leads on to ideal clients. Now, who is the person I am enamoured with with their, um, with their video? And that's Susan Marot. Go check her out. She's a guru for sales and you can learn a heck of a lot from her and her videos are extremely watchable. So, in her last video she was going on about people who try to make a connection with you or to do sales and fail dismally and there are loads of them it doesn't have to be on your linkedin it can be anywhere on the net there seems to be a very huge amount of people who haven't got a clue how to make a decent contact it's it's almost like they become like robots on the net. They don't actually become like proper human beings. They are so wrapped up in their sales procedures. They've got to get X, Y, Z done. They've got to do this. They've got to do that. They can't think how the other person would react when they zap off a message at a million miles an hour with no concept at all of how the other person will take it. So I get the sort of things all the time. For example, I got a sponsored message from LinkedIn. Somebody was trying to sell me their product via, because they're probably on the higher rate of LinkedIn, and they sent me a sponsored message and it was going on and on about the commenting club and it was how they could help me and I read it and I thought, no, you haven't got a flipping clue. You haven't even looked at my profile you haven't looked at my website or read any of my posts you are talking out of your dot 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 add your own expletive in there okay so i get the same also with guest posters when they come along and they say oh we've got this fantastic post we want to talk about blah 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 and i think it's nothing to do with my blog you haven't read my blog you say you've read my blog you say you're not an read on blog but you haven't read any of my posts because it's absolutely totally obvious that you haven't done so absolute waste of my time so then there was also the unfortunates when you get people who literally just dump their products on you and say buy now and that's like do you really help you know that is so inviting or you get the other side when you get spammy approaches people saying hello my dear Ugh. you know would you like to what about this wonderful product you've got here mm. you know would you like to buy it no so basically you know that's not the way my way i suggest is to create a proper relationship with these people by commenting now that may sound a little bit lame but actually it's not because if you think about it very carefully that is how you would make a connection with you, know, you say some saw somebody very interesting at a party for example you wouldn't just go stand the chair of the of the um, room and say oi you over there I'm absolutely fantastic. Come and be friends with me. Do you want to go out in tonight? They're going to think, who the hell is this idiot? You know, what's this exhibitionist? Who do you think everybody would evacuate and you'd be standing there on your own? This is not exactly how it would work. What you would do is you go up and you'd find out more about that person by asking them nice and respectable and relevant questions without being too spammy, too... Bleh. And you would... Um, find a way of, of finding out more about them that is amenable to them and informational to you. Now, before I go on too long, you know, it's it's when you go on the internet, you use little levers to help you find what you need. For example, on LinkedIn, you can have options come up to you to wish people happy birthday or congratulate them on their new job or on a certain number of anniversary of their job. Why not say a little bit more in that comment about them that, well, 
the best way to do that actually is to go ahead and find out more about these people by reading what they've already put on the net. What posts have they written? What updates have they done? What information have they put out recently? You know, do a bit of social stalking, if you can think of a better word. This is not done maliciously. This is done purely to find out more information. Once you've done a proper bit of reading about what they do, you've properly read their posts, you've properly read and understood what their updates are, you've taken an interest in their website, you've taken a note of all the things they've been doing recently on their Twitter and Facebook and all the other stuff, then you can make an approach, then you can make a proper um, approach with them because you know a bit more about them. It's no good going in cold. That's not going to help anybody. So look what they've been doing. Um, comment on their latest posts. Comment on their latest video. Say something generic but relevant. Relevant is so important. Often opinion that's valuable, helpful, not only to them but to anybody else as well. Continue the conversation by asking a question for clarification or offer your knowledge to solve a problem. These are all little tiny little points that you can make to make a big difference to approach someone in such a way to get them to realise that you aren't an, a horrible, nasty, spammy, stalker sort of salesperson, dump their stuff and say buy now. You are somebody who generally wants to find out more about them and therefore once you've made that connection and you have an affiliation with, you can actually have rapport going, you can feel there's some connection going on between you that you have something in common with each other because you've done a, enough talking and commenting to each other, then you can broach the pro process gradually of making a sale. This may sound long-winded to you, but tell you something, it really does make a huge difference. It's a big difference of saying yes or told where to go and sling your hook. So, thank you for listening. I'm Alice Elliott, the founder of The Commenting Club, .co.uk that shows you how the magic of commenting can increase the popularity of your business which ultimately leads onto ideal clients. So if you want to find out more about grown up or as my mentor calls it strategic commenting, I prefer grown up because I can say it better, then you can find out more about it on my LinkedIn visibility challenge and Leave a message in the comments below if you want to have details of where you can find out about that. So, and also if you want to um, leave your, obviously leave comments about what I've said and what you think about, I've said in this video below. But, and also if you want to discuss a few bits with me about the contents of this video, then you're very welcome to also leave a message in the comments below and we'll make content later for chat. So thank you for much for listening to me and I hope to speak to you again soon. Bye.